waiting for the Nookie to rise. I'm not sure it's going to happen. Hello, I'm Jamie. This is Anti Chef. Today we're making gnocchi. What is gnocchi? It is a small pillowy potato dumpling. Could be had as a starter, as a main course. You can put sauce on top of it. We're gonna be making it with gorgonzola sauce. Sounds delightful. Let's do it. Put the unpeeled potatoes in a large pot. Fill the pot with enough cold water to cover the potatoes by at least two inches. Medium high heat for 30 to 35 minutes until the potatoes are completely tender. Let's drain. Ow. Let's drain this. The skin's all banged up from the sink. I'm gonna be peeling them anyway. Cut these in half crosswise. All my attempts to mash these potatoes are failing. I'm getting very fed up. I mean, if I'm gonna be completely honest with you, the recipe actually said that if I had a ricer, I, I would put the potatoes through the ricer, but since I don't have a ricer, I figured I could just mash them. It's proving to be such a pain in the ass, I should have just picked up a ricer. It just didn't make sense to me at the time, but it makes a little more sense now that I'm in the thick of it. Five minutes. The lesson really is cook your potatoes correctly, but I might add here that I was following the recipe and there's no shame in that. In a small bowl, mix the flour and the salt. Add an egg to the potatoes. Mix with your hands until the flour has moistened and the dough starts to clump together. Press against the bottom of the bowl until you have a uniform mass. Add to a lightly floured area. Beat until the flour is fully incorporated into the dough and the dough is soft, smooth, and a little sticky. I'll be the first to admit that since I didn't properly mash the potatoes, there's still little chunks of potato that are in here. I'm gonna have to work with what I have. It should feel very delicate. I don't know about that. It's not very delicate. I could chuck this through a window. Tear off a piece of the dough about the size of a lemon. Roll the piece of the dough about a three quarter inch in diameter. With a sharp knife, cut the rope every three quarter inch. I've seen a round gnocchi that looks like it has a fork pressed down on it. See if this works. Now I just repeat that step. Just keep rolling. Working my way down the line. Fork them. It's sauce time. Heat the heavy cream in a 12 inch skillet. 
So bubbles start to form on the sides and in the middle. Gorgonzola cheese. Flour. Turn off the heat. Cover to keep warm. Drop the gnocchi into the boiling hot water, making sure that they don't clump together. Give one gentle stir, and now we wait for them all to float up to the surface. Waiting for the gnocchi to rise. I'm not sure it's gonna happen. Oh, it's happening. Look at that. Cool. Uh-oh. Too much water. I put way too much water in this. Way too much water. Whew. All that's left is that I gotta drain this, add it to the sauce. I'll see you soon. like my favorite meal, so I hope it lives up to my standards. Mmm, wow, I'm impressed. I gotta get a few bites before I can make my assessment. Okay, I'm standing by. <laughs> really good for your first try, but I will say that there are too many potato chunks. In it. I know there is. <laughs> my final thoughts are velvety, creamy, rich, and chunky. <laughs> Velvety, yes. Chunky, yes. Oh, didn't see you there. It's a shame about those potato chunks, but there's always a shot at redemption. Why don't you let me know how I could better mash my potatoes? Until then, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next week. Check out all this gnocchi. Check out all this gnocchi. Look at it all. It's a work of art.